Hey, what's going on everybody? This is John Jake Gaming on the mic here coming at you with a brand new episode of the South Louisiana Dynasty here on Maximum Football 2020 using that PS5 of course because you know why not and we're out here we're going to be taking on the Greenville Jaguars on the road once again it's a just another part of our long road trip that we have had um our longest road trip of the season four straight games without a home game it's been tough out here but greenville is currently three and five on the season we're five and three but at least on paper it seems like we will have a slight advantage we are a 71 overall squad with a 73 offense 69 defense but then greenville almost has the exact same stats that we have 70 overall 73 offense and a 68 defense that they get to work with here so it's certainly going to be really interesting to see how this game is going to turn out because it looks like on paper it's going to be pretty even so i am pretty excited for it and if you guys are as well i encourage you to smash that like button hit subscribe if you have to be brand new as it doesn't cost a thing to do it and also hit me up down in the comments i love reading your guys' comments but yeah Let's go ahead and take on these Greenville Jaguars on the road. Let's get it. So let's go ahead now and get this game underway between us and the Greenville Panthers. And this Greenville squad is actually going to start with the football here to begin this game. And it's a pretty big game for us here, man. You know, five and three as of right now. You know, trying to make sure that we can go about, you know, continuing to compete for the opportunity to go to the National Athletic Conference Championship. We are very much still in the hunt at this point as Wilson is going to end up running it up the middle here for a gain of five. And, you know, they've been surprising a little bit here, man. Three and five is what their current record is as of right now. But that being said, you know, they're like us, man, you know, trying to, uh, you know, they don't necessarily have the guys to compete as of right now and you know this, this coaching staff at greenville just like us been doing a pretty good job this is this is basically a battle for coach of the year man so that being said first and 10 from their 45 yard line they're gonna hand it off to gibson and gibson does a really nice job of running it up the middle able to pick up six yards there is now second and four coming up here Got another uh, potential run here, but Wilson's actually going to throw it over to the right-hand side. Almost able to get to completion, but we will end up stopping them there in order to take them to another third down. Is now third and four coming up here. Wilson dropping back. He's looking over the middle. Finds Dorville wide, but naked open. It is going to be yet another first down here for Greenville. They're starting to put together a really methodical drive right now. And as Wilson, again, trying to make some magic happen. This one's starting to go down the sideline, but it's going to be brought down at about the 15-yard line. And the Greenville Panthers drive still going. It's a, taking a lot of time, too. Almost half a quarter has already passed. As we get a fumble, but they're going to be able to get their hands on the ball there. So now a second and short coming up here. That clock is still continuing to tick here. And I know it's early, but man, they are taking a ton of time off the board right now. One eighth of this game is simply this first drive alone. But Wilson almost completing the job. Trying to get it in the hands of his tailback, but he was not looking there. So now, second and goal coming up. Wilson dropping back, but getting lit up like a Christmas tree. That's Gerard Perry able to get in there and make the sack. And it gives our defense a little bit more breathing room to work with here. A third and goal from the eight-yard line. To try to hold it down here as Wilson ends up getting sacked once again. And it's Gerard Perry who gets in there and makes the tackle once again. That's two sacks for us on the day. And that will end up meaning that Greenville, it's, it was a long drive, but they do end up settling the, for a field goal. But they will still only end up with three points 
So it's time for our offense to finally get to work with two minutes and eight seconds. That one's that's when we finally have a chance for the football. We, we almost make them pay for it right away. We had a man wide but naked open, but we missed him down the sideline. You hate to see it. So we got a pass once again here. Second and ten. Now we do get it out to Davy Smalls, who does end up picking up the first down for us. Is now second and seven coming up. Anderson in the pocket. He's looking around, trying to get to the outside. Finds Reddish, who breaks a couple of tackles. And now it's turning into a foot race in South Louisiana. Able to take the lead off a huge touchdown. So needless to say, that's probably why Greenville tried to play keep away with as much as they did on their first drive. Because, hey, we ended up scoring really quick and really fast. I'm hoping that we can go ahead and make this attract me. Make Greenville play uncomfortable. Make them play from behind. It's now second and eight. We try to blitz with our corner, Tony Swagger. But we get a little too anxious there. So we now have a second and three that we have to deal with. And Wilson going to be able to take full advantage. Sending this down deep over the right-hand side. Almost making us pay for it. Incomplete. So it's going to be third and three coming up here. As we try to load this box here. Make them try to earn it here. And look at that. Another first down. That offsides penalty did get us there. But... We're at the end of his first quarter. Look at the time possession disparity. Less than a minute we had the ball. We're still up by four despite that. But with that being said, hopefully the second quarter is a little bit better for us going forward. At least actually holding on to the football for a little bit longer than a minute. But before we can worry about that, we got to go ahead. We got to try and get a stop here on defense. That's the big priority for us here right now. As Wilson will drop back on us once again. Facing some pressure. And we could not. We got beat deep. We got caught looking in the backfield a little too much. Dorville runs behind us. And Greenville ends up scoring another touchdown. So we find ourselves down here once again. Down 10-7. But our team is back out on the field for our second offensive drive. Of this entire game so far is now second and four coming up here. Anderson looking to run to the outside. He's got some space to work with. Able to cut it back inside. Able to get, you know, across the 50 yard line, too. Looking like another promising drive for us here as Damian Anderson looking to hand it off to Niang. Gets the pitch and gets a gain of six because of it. So now second and short now coming up. Actually third and short. As we look to try to run it up the gut here for this first down. And Niang gets stopped one yard short. But we are on the 40-yard line. We only need one more yard. And so you know what? As a great Uncle Sam's once said, you know, scared money does not make any money. And Niang picks up the first down for us. We keep this drive alive because of it. And now we got to go ahead. We got to see if we can pick up a touchdown right here, man. Let's see if we can get this job done. As Anderson looking around, trying to get it over the middle, but the receiver cuts off his route just a little bit early there. And now we got a second and long now coming up as Anderson dropping back, looking around. Got some uh, space to work with, but runs out of time as Greenville does end up converging on our quarterback. So now a third and 15 here as Anderson trying to make something shake here on the third and long. Anderson looking around, going to go ahead and just run it himself, looking for the first down, and he's going to end up getting it right there. Another huge run for our offense. We have another first down to show for it as Anderson throws over the middle, gets it to Brown, able to get away from one defender. But does end up being yet another first down here. As Anderson on a first and ten. We're going to get somebody open here. Has to get rid of it early. And Rooney almost manages to get into the end zone. A gain of nine. But we'll see if we can punch it in here. Get a big drive of our own here. And Niang does just that. First rushing touchdown of the game. South Louisiana retakes the lead.
So now we go ahead and put the pressure right back on this Greenville offense, who's been doing a pretty decent job of moving the football, but we do get them exactly where we want them to be. We are making them play from behind. That's exactly what we're going to do. Now we got to execute base off that as Wilson tries to throw over in the middle. It's incomplete, but Scott is going to be called for the roughing the passer penalty. And that's going to be an automatic first down that gets them into South Louisiana territory. We'll see if they can take advantage of it here. Second and 10 coming up now that they could not, you know, connect on that play. Make that third and nine is Wilson. We're going to throw the right hand side. Gets it out to Gibson, but Gibson is going to end up getting hit there. And that will end up, you know, Greenville taking a timeout, interesting enough. So I don't know what they were planning, but it stops the clock for us for the time being. We still have three timeouts left to work with here. Let's see if we can go ahead and try and push it downfield before the end of the half. So let's see if we can get it done here as Anderson looking around, trying to throw it over the right hand side, but it's going to be incomplete there. So now a third and long coming up here is now Anderson dropping back. Going to try to throw to the left hand side, but it's going to be intercepted. And the interception is going to get him into the end zone. And that's how this first half ends for us. We're down 17 to 14 at halftime. And we do at least get the ball to start the second half, but what a huge swing of momentum right there. So with that being said, the second half now is completely underway now. Let's hope we can do a little bit better than what we did in the last drive that ended up being a pick six, and that will certainly help us out quite a bit. Nice throw over the middle to Brown. Now get him into Greenville territory. But it looks like they are doing a good job of maintaining... Um, you know, integrity with the rushing attack. So now, you know, trying to make sure, you know, Anderson, he has to win this game with the arm. That is what they're trying to accomplish. Right now, they're doing a pretty good job of it. Making us throw on a third and ten. Trying to throw it over the middle, but we get a little bit lucky as well. We get a roughing the passer call our way. An automatic first down for us, but they're going to continue to load the box. This time, sending pressure. And there will be no roughing the path passer penalty right there. That's going to end up being a quarterback sack. Is now second and 15. Anderson dropping back, facing some pressure. Does end up getting it out to the tight end. Julian Ross, the junior, getting it into the red zone. So we're back in business now, looking to at least tie this game. I personally want the lead, though, as Anderson upfield gets it inside the five-yard line. Let's punch it in one more time. Got to rely on that running game here. Heavy box, but we got to trust the running game. But we fumbled the football inside the five. You cannot be serious right now. So... All of that effort that we just spent trying to drive down the length of this field is going to end up being all for nothing. We're still down by three, and now our defense is going to have to respond here. And right now, they're not doing that whatsoever. Big gain by this quarterback, not in terms of yardage, but it does get them out of the shadow of their own goal line. Now Greenville can be a little bit more aggressive here. Third and long coming up. Wilson stays on his feet though. Lawrence finally going ahead and making a tackle. I don't know why it wasn't necessarily connecting at first. But Dean Wilson picking up yet another first down. As Wilson dropping back. Throws it out to the right hand side. That is going to be incomplete. Is now. Third and long coming up here. Looking for a stop on defense. And we're going to end up getting just that. We at least get the stop. But we will still end up finding ourselves down by three. And what's worse is that we actually end up going free and out on our next possession. And really it's putting our defense in a pretty tough spot to be honest with you guys. We're... We're a little bit down bad at the moment. 
as it looks like this Greenville squad trying to get it downfield as Wilson dropping back, trying to throw over the middle, and it finds Dorval for a second touchdown of the day. And their biggest lead yet for the Greenville Panthers. And we are being put on upset alert here. And it really means our offense definitely needs to come away with some points on this drive. Momentum has really swung towards Greenville's way as we're looking for Anderson. Second and three. This could be a nice play for us down the sideline. Anderson, one man to beat. That's how we do it. That's the spark that we needed right there. Touchdown, South Louisiana. We're back in this game. But let's see if our defense can come through and make some plays for us here as well as Wilson is going to make a play as well. Durval is actually going to end up picking up the first down. Is now a couple plays later here on a second and long. Wilson dropping back is going to end up scrambling upfield. Our guys do not end up getting up in time. And Wilson is actually doing a really good job of making some guys miss here. As that does end up the third quarter. It's a three-point game. We just need one stop and we can end up winning this game. I truly believe that. So let's go, baby. Fourth quarter now officially underway. Time for our defense to step up in the biggest quarter of the game. Because it's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. And look at that. Albright able to get in there get the deflection. And now second and ten. We'll see if they try to go five verts. Is they're going to go to the left-hand side. They find Calhoun. And Calhoun's going to be able to walk into the end zone. Touchdown, Panthers. And Greenville again able to get a two-score lead up. And now we're going to have to try to pass this football relatively quickly downfield. We can't be wasting that much more time. And they're starting to key in on our passing routes as well. Getting a little bit harder for us to pass the football. As we got second and ten now coming up. Anderson looking over the middle of the field. That's also going to be incomplete. Trying to get it over the middle. Doesn't work out for us. Is now third and long coming up here. Going to try to send a man in motion. Looks like they are going to be in a zone. Let's see if we can go ahead, throw it over the middle. It's caught, but they're going to roll it. A fumble and another untimely turnover, allowing Greenville the opportunity to pounce and make this lead even bigger than what it currently is right now. And they are looking like they that they are the better team than we are. We are just having a really hard time getting turnovers I don't think we've had a single turnover in this game. So that's really not helping us whatsoever. So got to prevent them from getting another touchdown here. As Wilson's going towards the end zone, we do at least go ahead and get the deflection. And we get him to a third and 12. Five wide set coming up for us here. Is now under sh uh, center. Wilson dropping back, throwing over the middle. And... It's going to barely not be a first down, but look at this. Scared money don't make money. They're going for it here on fourth and one, and the Greenville offensive line gets the push that they need. They punch it into the end zone. Is now first and goal. Wilson, we're going to run it in and does just that. Another touchdown for the Greenville Panthers. And we're down by 17 points here in the fourth quarter. We are certainly in some serious trouble right now. As we go ahead now, kick things back off here once again. And I'll tell you what, we really need to spark if we want any chance to come back and win this football game. Let's see if it can be provided right here as he's going down the sideline. Making some guys miss and this is exactly what we need Turning it into a foot race. 19 cannot catch him whatsoever. And the special teams, when we need them the most, ends up getting a touchdown for us. To get it back down to a 10-point game. So here we go now. 38-28 to 28 ball game here. We're still down by 10 at this point. So 
Really trying hard not to use any of our timeouts necessarily. Um, but if they get into the end zone here, this game is going to be over. Simple as that. So, really need our defense to step up right here as they try to go deep downfield. But we do at least end up getting the deflection. They were looking for the dagger. And they did not get it there. It is now second and ten. Wilson dropping back. It's a five wide set. Going to throw it over to the left hand side. Whittle is able to get open downfield. It's turning into a foot race. And Greenville is going to end up being brought down inside the 30 yard line. And now they are certainly in field goal range here. And even though we do end up getting the stop on third down. Certainly not ideal. They're going to get this inside three minutes. I'm actually surprised they're not trying to go ahead and get some time off the clock here because the clock is certainly on their side, but they do at least end up picking up the field goal. It is still a two-possession game, but it's not done for us yet. We just got to score quick. Anderson dropping back. Has to scramble out of the pocket, facing some pressure, and is going to end up Getting a huge first down, getting out of bounds. So that will help a little bit. Is now another first and 10 coming up. It's a play action, trying to attack downfield. Looking for his receiver, but cannot get to completion. So now, second and 10 coming up. Trying to get another short passing play going. Anderson looking around. Do you want to have to scramble once again? And. Once more, ends up picking up an additional first down for us right there. And we got first and 10 now coming up here, looking to attack the seams. Anderson looking, trying to get rid of it, but is going to end up being sacked. And at that point, we have to start going ahead and using our timeouts. Not something that I want to do, but something that we have to do to try to save some time on this clock is Anderson. Dropping back, looking around once again. Doesn't like what he sees downfield, trying to cut forward for the first down instead of cutting out of bounds. But it will be another first down for us right there. As now, first and 10 again. Trying to continue attack downfield. I got one on one, trying to exploit it. We make the catch, but it's going to be fumbled. And that is going to end up sealing our fate here, man. We lose this game by a final score of 41 to 28. We have had our fair share of upsets that we have been able to pull off over the course of the season. But we are going to be on the receiving end this time around. We end up getting upset ourselves. And it's just tough because we actually had a similar number of total yards as Greenville end up having in this game. But... The turnovers for us was a really big deal for us, and it really shot us in the foot when, you know, we need to get points on the board. I mean, like, shoot, the last drive sealed it, but we also had a fumble where that would have made it at least like a six-point game, you know, not have to be as aggressive, but, I mean, it's nothing that we can do about it now. Next episode, we will continue our longest road trip of the season. We actually take on the Dayton Med Medieval, who are also fighting for an opportunity to go ahead and go to the National Athletic Ch Conference Championship game. For us to go ahead and achieve that same objective, we need to bounce back and win that game. So it will still be a good episode. But with that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, I need you guys to do me a favor. Smash that like button for me. And then on top of that, Hit me up down in the comments and also subscribe if you have to be brand new and you haven't done so already. It's free and you can always unsubscribe if you're not feeling me later. But with that being said, I'm going to sign off. I'm hoping you're all out there having a good one. Take care, everybody.